Uh, what is going on guys, Marshall One here and welcome back to my first video about Bandicam, how to set up it and how to use it. This is for users that are first time dealing with this program and as you all know many of you have really so many problems when you record your games because you are losing FPS with Bandicam. So let's try to set up it so you don't lose that FPS really that much. Anyway, you can decide do you want to record a full screen or when you click here you can choose how much of your screen you really want to record. But I'm not using this only if I want to record something from YouTube or something on my computer. So it's up on you, do you want to use this or what? Anyway, when you go to FPS, you click here show FPS overlay because this one is something that you're gonna see in game. You can choose where to place those numbers because many of players asking me what are those numbers in your corner? Well, you know it's something that show FPS. So those two here I'm not using but it's up on you if you want to limit your FPS to 60 or something go on and do it but I really don't recommend you this thing so the main thing is in video so you wanna choose your button for recording in my case it's F1 so means when I press it it starts recording and you will see that uh, FPS counter will become red and like that you know it's recording when you hit F1 button again, it will stop, but have in mind you can choose any button you like. I'm using F1 because my fingers are all the time on WASD, so F1 is really close to it and I will not waste time finding my record button, so it's simple. Anyway, as I said, it's up on you. You can choose those options down there, I mean it's obvious, you know what they mean. If you like to add click effects, if you like to add overlay for your face cam, I don't know, for the, those guys who are using it, they can choose here uh, webcam and to make a size of it and so on. Anyway, the main thing is this, because those guys who are first time with Bandicam, they probably don't know how to set up. You can choose uh, two file formats. In my case, I'm using AVE or I, how do you say that? Anyway, you can decide or to choose one of those two or MP4 and this is the main thing so if your resolution in game is maximum then you really wanna use in Bandicam also that same resolution so it's really up on you and you need to see in-game resolution and compare it to Bandicam resolution what will happen if the resolution in game doesn't fit uh, Bandicam resolution or Bandicam resolution doesn't fit resolution in game. Well, you will see then from left and right side, it will be like, like this. You will see two black lines taking away your screen. So, th this is the simple exam that I will see uh, show you. So, if, you, if your resolution doesn't fit in game, you will see your video like only the black thing inside now so you may really pay attention to this one anyway you can decide how many FPS you want for those users who really have bad computer they wanna use 30 FPS or maybe even less like 25 or 29 it's up on you but for those users who wanna do uh, 60 FPS videos and in one case their video editors doesn't support 60 fps then you may wanna go to 59 and this will also record your game in 60 fps have in mind that on youtube you can play also videos on 50 fps and it's also nice so i will leave you this one to choose and decide by yourself anyway when we go to quality let's say you, you can choose a quality of your videos so when you play it on your computer or YouTube or anywhere you will see that if you choose to be a low quality you will see like pixels but to the maximum quality 
you will really have a nice picture but have in mind if you choose a maximum then it will result in losing more FPS so I recommend you like maybe 70 or 60 or even 50 for some players so it also depends on your computer and wait for those settings you can simply set up it like this because I really didn't mess with those things so it's really up on you anyway I want to show you something like I don't know but screenshots are something normal and it's simple all you need a hotkey for screenshot and it will save where you decide and make a folder but uh, the most interesting thing in general is for those guys who don't know how to set up microphone so you probably get confused here but primary sound device means what are you recording so you wanna leave this one because it will record audio from game and also if you are playing with your friends and they talk in microphone it means it will also record their voice but if you wanna talk you wanna turn on this one and you wanna choose your microphone because this option is giving you ability to talk and record your voice in the same time while recording your games so I'm using this as disabled because I'm not using this program for recording I have my other programs so it's up on you to decide this one and I'm leaving you to deal with it anyway for users who are not sure how to set up Bandicam but they want to choose a best settings and they don't have time to mess and deal with Bandicam to see what are the best pressed for their computer well you can simply click here and decide what you're not gonna do and it's simple because I have Nvidia graphic card I'm using H264 60 FPS for recording and it's really simple because uh, I'm recording it with my graphic cards and I'm not really losing any FPS but also I forgot to tell you when you go to settings and you see you here have Kodak so mine is on X width anyway for those users who are able to use this one please use it and you will see no lag at all but you may also want to use motion gpack because recording with this option will reduce losing of your fps dramatically so you may only want to check this one or this one if it's not working for your computer then please stay with activate anyway as i said when you go to press you can insta choose how to record it because this program allows you to auto setup anyway for those guys who are really really having bad computer just click these options and believe me you will see probably like 5 to 10 fps loss maximum or you can choose ultra fast settings in 60 fps and believe me it will reduce a little bit of your picture and resolution but you will have your videos in 60 fps which is really great and if you are doing a YouTube videos then you may want to stay with 720p like that you will reduce a size of your videos and at the same time you will have let's say a decent quality but first when you open this you may want to try low-end PC settings so just click this or you may want to try ultra fast settings for 60 FPS and as I said for guys who have Nvidia graphic card please try this one or as I said in my previous video that you may find on my YouTube channel you can record with shadow play without losing FPS at all so that was it for this video and about Bandicam guide so if you have any questions or any problems please let me know uh, let me know down in comment and I will do my best to help you if you like this video and you found it useful please support me with like button and subscribe thanks for watching guys and bye bye